The French Revolution, like all revolutions, begins in the name of the people. There are high hopes and higher ideals for liberty, equality, fraternity. But between the ideals and reality are the men who make the revolution, the leaders, and they often replace one form of oppression with another. It is the year one of the French Republic, 1792 of the Christian calendar. But the old calendar has been abolished, along with most of the Christian tradition. France is to be the model for a new world. The architect of that world is Maximilien Robespierre. No, oh, no. Let her speak. Yes? My husband is in prison. He's innocent. He... I think it's appalling that a woman should so forget her duties as a citizen of the Republic that she thinks of herself as a... as a wife. Maximilien Robespierre, the incorruptible. The pure idealist who seeks a nation of virtue and happiness and to achieve it invents the terror. It has been five bloody years since the storming of the Bastille and the beginning of revolution. The mob of Paris, poor, starving, from the lower class districts of Cordelier and Faubourg Saint Antoine. From wretched tenements, 400 years in the shadow of the Bastille prison, the symbol of feudalism and royal oppression. because they wear plain long trousers instead of the fancy knee breeches of the aristocracy. The sans culotte gave France the revolution. The assembly will have to give her a government. But the new democratic assembly is a political body of the middle class, already split into separate struggling factions. A loosely knit party called the Girondists control the government. Realize what is happening. I'll go speak to them. Jacques Brissot is its leader. A moderate, he clashes with a new breed of men who represent the sans culotte, men whose power stems from the working class. Maximilien Robespierre, a prim lawyer from Arras. Not yet 30 when the revolution began, he already has a reputation for manipulating the other leaders of the sans culotte. We must defeat our enemies at home first. The most popular sans culotte hero, Georges Jacques Danton, beloved by the people. The revolution needs more of this public spirit. Camille Desmoulins, a writer of satire and boyhood friend of Robespierre, has found a cause in the revolution. Through the network of political Jacobin clubs, Robespierre is developing a primitive form of national party. Using Danton's popularity with the people, Camille Desmoulins' acid pen, and the disillusionment of the people of Paris, Robespierre is creating a revolution within a revolution. Not ready. Open up! We've got a heat! Why well, right. doesn't the government do something about the price oh. of bread? That's what I want to know. My man says it's because they don't care about us at all. That's they why. want to starve us. My man says there ought to be some kind of price control. You know control. as well as I do, they'd never do you that. You haven't any idea what you're talking about. They price controls on everything, shoes, everything. Get a fair price and stick to us. They make us pay too much. That's what my man says. I, I agree with talking. Yes, yeah, she's right. My man says. I don't know what my man says. They took him away to fight last year. Brissot's government had declared war on Austria and Prussia to unify and consolidate the French people. But a war of patriotic nationalism needs victories. There are none. Desperately trying to unite the people behind his government, Brissot turns on King Louis XVI, a virtual prisoner since abdicating his throne for a constitutional government. After an unsuccessful attempt to escape from France, the king is captured and imprisoned. He is charged with plotting against the Republic. I'm sure I know what he's going to propose next. The king must die so that the nation can live.
On January 21st, 1792, Louis XVI, good King Louis of France, goes to the guillotine. Instead of saving Brissot's government, the king's execution becomes the first in a series of events that will topple Brissot from power. Brissot's hand-picked commander of the French army is defeated and deserts in the field. Great Britain prepares her fleet for war on France. And in the Brittany and Vendée regions of France, largely Catholic and loyal to King Louis, the peasants openly revolt against Brissot's government. We have a cause, you see, God, and our king! The king is dead! Long live the king! Robespierre and his Jacobins step in. As long as Brissot stays in power, the revolution will never be safe. We'll never be able to do what's needed to win the war. But there must be something else. His commander-in-chief deserting. That's not enough. And once we take power... What would you do with power, Danton? Camille? Let's get power first, and then see. No. First, you must know what you want. Then you get power. Then you do it. In the year two of the French Republic, power is the people, the mob of Paris. Stirred up for blood by the ravings of Jean-Paul Marat, a doctor turned journalist, the sans-culotte march on Brissot's assembly the way they had marched on the Bastille. A man who is starving has the right to cut another man's throat cries Marat. Clean out the convention. On June 2nd, 1793, the sans-culottes take over Brissot's government of France. Brissot and 28 of his party are arrested and doomed to death. Robespierre's political technique is clearly shown in the removal of Brissot. Behind the scenes manipulation. Although Mara is in the limelight, on the shoulders of the mob, it is Robespierre who is guiding their actions. When a young woman from monarchist Normandy, Charlotte Corday, assassinates Marat, the mob of Paris belongs to Robespierre. And with the mob comes power over the assembly. Robespierre will now establish his new regime, the rule of virtue and terror. As long as traitors go unpunished, the nation will always be betrayed. The revolution must be controlled by a centralized authority. Robespierre takes his place on the Committee of Public Safety as France seems to be crumbling into total ruin. Foreign armies are on her borders. The British fleet blockades her ports. Half the country is in open revolt. The treasury is empty and the food shortage approaches famine. Open up! Or I'll break it down! Open up! All right, then. Break it down. What is it? I have an order to requisition 15 quintals of wheat. What is this? I haven't got any. The cavalry took it last week. Sergeant, have a look. Step aside. No. Wait. I found it, sir. At least 30 sacks. Corporal. He's got it all in the attic. It's not even hidden. Well, grain, huh? I forgot all about that. I promise, I simply forgot all about it. Let terror it. be the order of the day. Fire! is the slogan of Robespierre's committee. The first to feel the terror are monarchist rebels and Catholic priests. When the guillotine proves too slow, victims are blown to pieces by cannon fire. In Nantes, over 2,000 monarchists and priests are drowned in the Loire River. All right, turn around. <laughs> things going to be like? I can't tell you what it's going to be like. I tell you what it could be like. 
everyone will live naturally, in harmony with his neighbor. No one will be rich, no one will be poor. Everyone will be busy and happy. No one will be jealous. It won't be easy. Terrible things may happen before this day comes. Mankind has been oppressed too long. He has become unnatural. That is why he needs low courts and judges. That is why he betrays his fellow man. When the new order comes, we won't need courts and judges because the law of nature and the laws of man will be the same. No trial, no judges, no traitors. How much did you buy the leather for? Well, you see, sir, I... I Citizen, my problem is that I... How much did you buy In Paris, the, the revolutionary tribunal, hastily set up to try crimes against the state, works 24 hours a day condemning aristocrats, priests, alleged spies, and food hoarders. Hang him. Yes, teach him a lesson. You pasty-faced bloodsucker, you. 5,000 livres fine, confiscation of your material property, and two years hard labor. Guard. If you confiscate my property, how can I pay the fine? Working secretly, Robespierre's committee and the terror produce results. The monarchist revolt is crushed. Prices and wages are fixed by law. But still more action is needed to raise the people of France to Robespierre's ideal of virtue. Where do we start? Let's talk about France. I want you to look at this draft. I'm going to put this to the assembly if the committee agrees. You just said that you haven't got enough power, enough authority. You're right. They are still slipping through the net. Royalists, speculators, traitors, and foreign agents. We must make them tremble before the terrible vengeance of the people. We must strengthen the hand of the revolutionary tribunals. Make justice swifter, more terrible. This sounds awfully vague. Shall be considered enemy of the Republic anyone who by thought, word, or deed harms or intends to harm the revolution. That means you could go to the guillotine if somebody doesn't like the color of your hair. If it will give my troops shoes, I'm in favor. If not, not. We're not interested in terror for its own sake. Not for its own sake, for the sake of the people. Robespierre's law of suspects is the perfect method to ferret out enemies of the Republic. The people live in constant fear, awaiting the knock at the door the pointed finger, the tribunal, and the guillotine. Who is that? How would I know? Who are you? What do you want? We're the Republican Watch Committee. How dare you? We're the ones who ask the questions. And what is this? You're a royalist, I'll wager. But it's only poetry. Well, you can explain it yourself in the courtroom. Come on, take him away. Robespierre can justify the action of the terror by rigidly controlling all the activities of the Republic, by creating a dictatorship more oppressive than the one it replaced. Robespierre has, for the first time in history, mobilized the entire human and material resources of a nation for total war. of the French Republic, the terror has saved France from domestic chaos and military defeat. Now that there is victory, Camille Desmoulins, whose pen had helped Robespierre to take power, calls for an end to the terror. I disagree completely with those who say that the terror should still be the order of the day. Did you write this? Yes, I did. I stand by every word of it. Good. Take him away. <coughs> With Desmoulins awaiting the guillotine, Danton realizes the terror has a two-edged blade. Have you gone out of your mind? Desmoulins is your friend. He's not a traitor. He wants to abolish the committee, destroy the revolution. You really are out of your mind. We don't need the committee anymore. We don't need the terror. 
What was the point? You wanted to feed Paris. Paris is being fed. Supply the army. It's got more guns than it knows what to do with. Save the revolution. There isn't an enemy within a hundred kilometers. But you talk as if the terror were something temporary. To be abandoned as soon as things improve a little. We can't stop, or we'll lose all we've gained. If we stop now, the people will never achieve happiness. But Demoulin was your friend. Sometimes it's hard. But we can't stop until all the traitors are exterminated. Who are you to say who's a traitor? You haven't got a monopoly on virtue. You can't make people happy by killing them. Don't you see that? For God's sake, do what you want. You be next. You be next, Robespierre. Long live the Republic. The execution of Danton and Desmoulins assures Robespierre absolute power. He begins a systematic purge of the government. 300,000 Frenchmen are declared suspects. For 100 days, France bleeds in the Grand Terror. Robespierre, the pure revolutionary, the pure idealist who loves mankind but cares nothing for the lives of men. They say that all is well with the Republic. But what has anyone done to turn our military successes into lasting victories? There is still a conspiracy against the nation, against liberty itself. We must punish. Purge, exterminate the traitors. The counter-revolution is everywhere. He's mad. He's accusing everyone. Let the enemies of the people go to the scaffold because of their crimes. The terrified assembly the people can take no more. The mob of Paris, created as a political force by Robespierre, so skillfully manipulated, now turn on Robespierre. He is arrested and found guilty without trial by the very machinery he has created. Robespierre, the incorruptible, who placed virtue above all else and used terror to achieve it is himself the final victim of his own creation. Revolution begins with the highest ideals. And always, revolution begins in the name of the people. Robespierre's reign of terror is over. But France does not fulfill her revolutionary dream of democracy. The people who became a nation under the terror fall again into political chaos and become ripe for the new dictatorship of Napoleon Bonaparte. Yet in history, revolution after revolution is eventually perverted by the very leaders who have begun them. And for the French Revolution, as any other, the bitter prophecy is the same. The revolution will end by devouring its own children.